hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a little while again been kind of busy we've been working in the house a little bit um, we've been doing all the doors in the house we've replaced them with all the uh, the pane doors the more modern doors when we built this house you can see behind me here this is a holocore door they were very inexpensive at the time and you know that's what they used in a lot of houses at that time in the meantime, like I said, we've replaced all of our doors in the house. This one's the last one remaining. And I wanted to do something a little bit different. It is a pocket door. Let me show you. It opens into this pocket. Um, and like I said, this was, our house was built, uh, you know, 30 years ago. So this was standard. We have found that when you take stuff down and work on it, um, like the bifold doors in the bedrooms, the rails don't match when you go to buy new rails it's been a little bit of a problem so i'm going to try to not take this door down and i'm going to do something different i'm um, going to do a time lapse photography for you now what's going to happen is i'm going to make this door look like a barn door i know right and we're going to use contact paper and um it's going to be beautiful so anyway hang on i'm going to show you okay so here's what you're going to need we're going to need some scissors we're going to need hot glue. We're going to need an exacto knife or a uh, you know, razor knife. This is the contact paper that I'm going to be using. I ordered it off of Amazon and I will list it in the comments below. And there you go. And then I made a template to make these faux hinges that we're going to put on there. This, this is uh, some uh, leathery not real leather, but anyway, it's, uh, I guess vinyl. It's kind of a vinyl that you used to sew with. So these are the things we're going to need right now. So let's get started. It's supposed to be really easy. So this is the paper that I chose. So let's get started. I'm going to need a stool, so I'll be right back. Well, I think getting the paper started is going to be the hardest part. Here we go. Okay, so that first piece, gotta get it lined up with the edge. And I noticed there were some bubbles and I was trying to pull the bubbles out, but actually if you just rub your hand across the bubbles, they pretty much work themselves out. And as you can see, I can take that paper off and back on a couple of times. It's very durable as far as that goes. You can pull on it pretty hard, no rips in it. So we'll see. I'm liking this so far. I'm seeing some bubbles, so I'm just going to wipe them out of here. And they do just wipe right off. This door keeps, it's bumping, it's driving me nuts. I'm going to have to stick something in there to keep it from talking to me. Okay, so, I'm going to work on this.
Okay, so you can see that either the door is not straight or I really hung that paper crooked. But you know, these barn doors are not exact anyway. So, I mean, you can, you can barely find where I overlap this, but you can see where it gets a little more narrow, you know, down at the bottom. But we're going to do some other work on this. So, the bottom I almost didn't cover down there, but we're going to put a strip across there, so it doesn't matter. So, I think with all the extra diagonal work, it's going to be fine. So, we'll continue. I'm going to cut some strips, and I'll be back. do some fun stuff. Now we're going to put a piece across the top. We're going to cut a big piece to go across the top, across the middle, here, here, and across the bottom, and then we're going to do some diagonal pieces. So I'm going to cut the strips, and you kind of have to decide on which ones, how big, but I guess we'll just do two and two, and I hope I have enough. All right, here we go. Okay, first hazard. When I went to put the bottom strip on, obviously if this has been cut with a pair of scissors, it's apt to tear. You see that right here where it tore? Um, when you're pulling it off of an existing piece, it also begins to tear. I was pulling really hard on this as I was putting it on the door, and it didn't offer to tear, but that just, yeah, a little disappointing. So now I've got to cut some new strips, and we'll try it again, and I hope that doesn't make me run out of enough. So I'll be back. Okay, so now you see I cut the diagonal, well, the top piece and the middle piece and the bottom piece. I wish they could have been a little bit thicker like this middle piece is, but, you know, I was going to run out of paper very quickly if I did. And then you go in and put the diagonal in. Now, I wish I'd had enough to go all the way to this corner, to that corner. But, but you know, I, honestly, I don't think anybody's going to notice. And now, we get to hot glue. Our hinge is on. Look at that. How about that? Okay. So, let me go do that. And I'll be back. All right, here she is, guys. This was a lot of fun. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. It took me about, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours, start to finish. It did take the entire three rolls of that vinyl paper. And like I said, I'll have a link in the description as to where I got it on Amazon. Um, I think, I can't remember how, how wide or long they were. I think they were in centimeters, and I'm, I missed that class in school. The, uh, the hinges, I think, look great. I might do a little bit of a mm, little silver kind of a brush paint on there to make it look a little better. They're kind of, you know, like stark black, but I think it still gives it a good effect. This was a very a good fix to a door that I didn't know what else to do with. I didn't want to paint it. Um, uh, we didn't want to replace it. So there you go. I mean, this will last many years and when, it's, when we're tired of it, we'll just pull the paper off and do something different. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's going to be a nice welcome to this kitchen since I have the, the ship lap paint that I did on the on the walls. It's sort of a compliment to that. Um, again, when you work with this paper after it's cut, it does tear. So be very careful when you do that. Be sure your X-Acto knife or, or your tool that you're using to cut this with is very sharp. It makes it go really, really easily um, down those edges. It's just like cutting like butter if your knife is sharp because I guess it's the vinyl paper is pretty easy to cut. 
it seems like it's going to stay well. I do have some air bubbles I might have to work out and maybe when the, in the daylight. Um, but you know, the way the texture of that paper is, you really can't see the wrinkles. It, I mean, after all, it looks like a barn door. But anyway, I've enjoyed doing this. I'm glad you got to come along with me. If you want to see me do some more of this, give me a thumbs up and do that, you know, subscribe and uh, like. That helps me out a lot. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Everybody stay safe. Bye.